250 discontinued products from our childhood. Some of these products are dangerous, expired, and some are even 60 years old. So let's go give them a try. Starting with Crocodile Adventure. There was a version of it that came out in 1990 called Crocodile Dentist Adventure, but they discontinued it because too many kids were getting hurt. So this is a newer knockoff version of the game, and Brent and I are gonna play it right now. So you have to press in one tooth, and hopefully it's not the tooth that will trigger the thing to go and bite you. I'm gonna go first. Three, two, uh. He laughs at you after he bites you. I hate that. It oh hurts. my god. I hate this game. The McDonald's Shake Maker. 1993 McDonald's made a lot of things like a burger, fry, and shake maker. But in my hands, I have the only working McDonald's ice cream machine in the world. Why is the ice cream machine always broken? It's always broken. So it comes with these little straws, lids, and cups. <gasps> That's Ooh. so cute. Literally all you need is instant pudding mix and milk. Okay, so I'm gonna add some milk. And done. I'm gonna add two spoons of vanilla pudding mix. And then we just mix. Okay, let's see if we have a shake. Whoa. Uh. Oh, no! All right, we have a little McDonald's shake. Cheers. Oh, that didn't mix it very well. No, I don't know if this is the machine or operator error, but that was disgusting. That was not good. No wonder the ice cream machine is always broken. Yeah, I mean, look at ours. Moon shoes. So here they are. They were honestly a pain to build, but I'm pretty excited for these, because, you know, I'm pretty short. These might give me some extra height. We have them on. I'm not gonna lie, these are pretty awesome. All right, so apparently, get these off the ground, so we're gonna do a little jump. Oh, okay. Really windy today, and I'm a little worried the wind might knock me over. A Game Boy Color. This was discontinued in 2003, but they're still really popular because this was sold for over $200. The games themselves are even more expensive. So here we have a Bug's Life, so we're gonna put this in and see if it works. All right, let's see if it works. I cannot believe that I'm playing on a Game Boy right now. So these are Fruit Loop cereal straws. They were discontinued in 2009, but when they were discontinued, a lot of people were begging for them back. So the company brought them back in 2021. I'm gonna be keeping these in a safe place in case they decide to discontinue these again. Let's give them a try. Oh my God. Every one of these straws is not together. So should we try it with a drink? Fruit Loop cereal straw, let's do it. I'm scared. Whoa, this is life changing. And you guys, you can do this. Okay, tastes good. I'm not a big cereal person, but you guys go get these before they discontinue them again. The Rock'em Sock'em. There are a lot of different versions of this game, but this is the original one from 1964. It requires two players, and I know exactly who I feel like fighting. Brent, are you ready? Yes. Okay, three, two, two one, one, fight! Go. Move! Oh, you move. Uh, headshot. I'm clearly winning. Headshot. Oh! This game is stupid. No, it's not. Yeah, this should stay discontinued. So this is the clapper. It came out in the 1970s, and apparently it's a sound-activated on and off switch for appliances. So I plugged it into my TV and the Nintendo, and we're gonna see if it turns on from me clapping. All right, let's give it a shot. Okay, this definitely should have stayed in the 70s because it doesn't work, and we still have light switches. I like the concept. I thought I could trick it, you know, maybe like it's not paying attention now. So this is Blue Pepsi. This is actually insane. It looks really good. It does look good, but apparently it was discontinued in 2002 because people didn't like it. We'll be the judge of that. Yes, we will. Let's crack it open. Smell this. It smells like a, like a closet. And it smells like soap. It does. It, right? It smells like dish soap. Oh my god, it tastes like this soap. I can see why it was discontinued. This is a Fushigi. It came out in 2010, but it didn't last very long because the commercials were deceiving. So the point was for it to be an illusion and to make it look like the ball was floating, but clearly that's not what this is. The commercials made it seem a lot cooler. I am so excited for this. Every year for Christmas, I would ask my parents for an Easy Bake Oven, and I never got one. But here I am, 22 years old, and I have an Easy Bake Oven, and I bought it myself. Anyways, we're about to try to make something in this oven, and hopefully we don't burn the house down. Wow, she's beautiful. Obviously, this product is discontinued, which means we had to buy it from some random person on eBay. It didn't come with the entire kit, but we're gonna be making a s'more. All right, let's plug this bad boy in. <laughs> All right. Thank goodness this still works, because otherwise we'd be making a very angry complaint to Sizzlin' oh. Seller on eBay. And I'm sure he wouldn't want that, because I would come in sizzling. All right, we have our uncooked s'more right here. Let's put it in the Easy Bake Oven. The s'more is in the oven. You can't really see what's going on in there, so I guess now we wait. Okay, it is ready. Let's see what we got. We got it. 
It fully baked the s'more. Okay, here we go. Taste test. Oh my god. And your old me would have loved this. These are jars and they were discontinued in 1989 because they didn't want kids playing with sharp objects. It went so far to the point where it's actually illegal for the company to sell them. So why the heck would you buy them? Because Jeremy, we're adventurous. We're gonna open this up and see if it's actually as dangerous as they say it is. Goal of the game is to get these inside of the yellow circle. And I see why they were discontinued. Look at how sharp. These are. Wait, is it cool if I get some practice? Jeremy, don't even joke. I don't need joke. Hey, I need to warm up. Stop. Here, catch it, ready? No, this is actually like really sharp just to touch. Yeah, very not safe. Two, one. Oh! Okay, first try. Three, two. Oh, oh wow. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Dude, oh my god, this is so much pressure. Wow. Since you lost, we have to go on a date now. No, what? Here we have a Johnny Astro Explorer. I'm pretty excited about this one because it is, I think, one of the oldest products we have. So this toy is from the 1960s, making it over 60 years old. I'm really curious to see if this thing still holds up. You guys, I think I just got scammed. Apparently, I didn't read the listing correctly because the seller was only selling the box. I spent $40 on a box. I guess I'll never get to play with Johnny Astro. Well, obviously, these have been sitting around for a while because the box is disgusting. It's exploded. So these are Dunkaroos. They were discontinued in 2012 because the sugar content was too high. So I feel like, as a kid, you want more sugar. Exactly, but I think that was the problem. That's the problem. They're gonna be running around everywhere. I'm not impressed at the moment. Oh my god. Frosting mm. looks like pudding that's been laying around for 40 years. This was not what I was expecting. Let's try one. Okay, we're gonna just dip it in. I kind of like it. Me too. I kind of like it. If I was a kid, I would like eat this all by itself. I'm giving these a 10. No, it tastes like cookie dough. These are really good. I'm rating it a 10 too. Wow, bring Dunkaroos back. Mm -hmm. We have Heelys here and they were discontinued in 2009 because too many kids were getting injured. And I can tell you that this is true because one of my brothers actually broke their arm because of Heelys. This is literally like going rollerblading. I'm a little nervous to try this. These are six and women's. I'm not fitting in those. This is all you. I think there's gonna be another person in the Rivera family that's gonna break their arm today. Don't say that. Oh, hey, you're the one who bought them and this is your video idea. Who needs a bike when you have oh. wheels on your freaking shoe? Whoa. <laughs> now we're gonna try going down the biggest hill in the neighborhood. No, we're definitely not doing that. I can see how Heelys could be pretty dangerous and I think we should stop while I'm still alive. No, let's go. All right, let's go again. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Hungry Hungry Hippos. This game was released in 1978, but this is the 1994 version which you cannot buy anymore. Why is this one so dirty? Well, because it's used and it was very hard to find. Ew, look at this. It's like gross stuff all over it. Yeah, definitely like little kids with sticky fingers are playing this. I do not want to touch this. Okay, the goal for this game is to get as many balls in your side as possible. Three, two, one. Oh, whoa! Wait, mine broke. Whoa, I just got a ton. <laughs> Look at how many I have. Mine are broken. Definitely from 1994, because it is very broken. But I still won. But you cheated, because it's slanted to the right, because it's broken. A lot of the products that were even older than this one worked better, so let's move on to the next product. I'm terrified for this one. Here we have Frosted Crusty O's. The name itself is grossing me out. This cereal is from the Simpsons movie that came out in 2008. And to prove it to you, the expiration date on this cereal is June 1st of 2008. But yeah, this cereal is literally 15 years old, so we're gonna open it, see what's inside, and see if it's safe to eat. Oh my god. What? <laughs> it smells like if a vintage store like threw up. Okay, since I might die today, I'm gonna just do everything, you know, crazy. So we're gonna put the milk before the cereal. Let me know if anyone else does this. Oh my God, that smell. I think I might die if I try this. Since this is actually unsafe, I'm only gonna be trying one just for you guys. So here we go, 15 year old Crustios down the hatch. They're so stale. I can't. Oh God. Oh my God. Whoever kept these for 15 years definitely kept them in the bag for a reason. So this is the Uzinator. It's a pretty ugly squirt gun and it was actually discontinued because the slime that squirts out of it was hazardous to children. But luckily there's no children around, so we're gonna go for it. Three, two, one. Why in the world? The sound that it makes when it comes out. This is actually gross. This thing is disgusting. This isn't even fun, this is just gross. So before Netflix, this is how you would watch movies. This is a video now and it was discontinued in 2007. Basically you put a CD inside and you can watch all of your favorite movies on this little screen. Okay, we're gonna watch some Spongebob. Okay, ready? Press to start. <gasps> aye aye, Captain.
Aye, aye, Captain! I have almost every season of Spongebob, so I'll be here all day. This is the Dairy Queen Blizzard Maker. It came out in 1985. No one knows why it was discontinued, but I think they should bring it back, because this seems like a pretty cool concept. Don't speak too soon, because this is what we're turning into a blizzard. It sounds like it's just like like sugar. Yeah, good point. Let's see if it works first. Yeah. Step one was to add ice, salt, and water. We just did that. All we have to do is add the dessert mix and three-fourths cup of half and half. Let's do it. Sounds easy enough. I don't even know how ice cream is made. Yeah, is this how they make it? Now we're gonna add some half and half. It really just feels like, oh, it's getting a little thicker. Is it dissolving? Now we have all the ingredients in our blizzard maker, but now all we have to do is mix. So we're gonna be mixing for 10 minutes, and then hopefully we have ourselves a nice little blizzard at the end. All right, we've been mixing this for about 10 minutes. I think we have ice cream. Please be a blizzard. Oh my God. Oh, there it goes. Okay, we have our blizzards. We're gonna give them a try in three, two, one. Mmm, tastes good, good at the first. aftertaste. Yeah, good at the beginning because it's the yeah. consistency of a, of a blizzard. It's a little stringy, like it tastes like like saliva texture. Ugh. Thanks for coming to Dairy Queen. Here you go. Here's your blizzard. There you go. This is the Poochie Robot Dog. It was released in 2002, but also discontinued in 2002. So wait, what is it supposed to do? It's supposed to just act like a dog. All right, let's crack it open and give it a try. So we have a real dog here, and we have the Poochie Dog, and it is barking. Let's see how a real dog and a robot dog interact. Look, is that your friend? Oh. No, hey, come back here. Hey, don't be antisocial. See, I don't really understand the point of this. Yeah, what is like, this what's even? Fun about this? I think I'm gonna be sticking with real dog. I don't think real dogs like you though, Jeremy. Yeah, they do. This is the Fisher Price Giant TV Music Box. I have never even heard of this thing because it was discontinued in the 1960s. Oh my god! But you probably know about this because you're like a dinosaur. What does it do? I think it literally just plays music. It's like a little TV you're watching. Oh. Oh whoa! It's kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I like this. And the song is getting a little annoying. How do you turn this thing off? Should we just get up and leave? Yeah, it's taking too long to end. All right, it's kind of annoying us, so we're just gonna go. All right, so these are Melody Pops. Before they were discontinued, they were actually called Whistle Pops, but they made a comeback in 2015, and Pierce and I are lucky enough to get to try these. It doesn't look like a whistle. It looks like it's gonna be like gum. I wonder if it's gonna be more like fun or more like tasty. Ooh, wait, that looks del this? What the heck? How that was so it? cool! Like a real whistle. Oh my god, that was so good! Oh Shut my up. gosh! This is, why have I never heard of this? These should have never been discontinued. Wait. Not only are these cool because they're a whistle, but they taste really good. They do, they taste like what? Strawberry? Mm -hmm. Cotton candy? How old are these? From 2006. What's wrong? 2006? That's almost 20 years ago. <laughs> okay, um, we're gonna get sick from this. This is a Sky Dancer. It was released in 1994, but discontinued in 2000 because over 100 people got injured. I'm not gonna lie, I did have this when I was a kid and I loved it. Why are we gonna try it again if we know that this is dangerous? Well, we just have to make sure. Supposedly you pull this and she spins and flies up. Three, two. Ah! Oh! Whoa! Oh. It's actually pretty fun, but I would not recommend buying this. Actually, you can't even buy it because it's discontinued. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to buy this anyways, guys. So these are clackers. They were discontinued in 1971, but we were able to get our hands on them. Ren is going to show you why these are discontinued. Right, you just go like this, uh -huh. you go like that. Ow, ow, ow. Hey, hey. Ow, that hurt. Really dangerous. This is Surge. It's owned by Coca-Cola, and it was actually discontinued from schools in the early 2000s. And Coca-Cola ended up shutting down the brand completely because they were spreading rumors about other drink companies. Expiration date on this is 2002. Two. Let's give this a try. Ew, this even feels like rusted. All right, bottoms up. Oh my god. Oh my god. The taste is like lingering in my mouth. It literally tastes like Sprite mixed with sewage. This is not good. So this one is actually insane. This is the old McDonald's Happy Meal bag from 1998, and it still has the toy that came with it. So this is a Tamagotchi, and they were discontinued in 2021, but this one is from 1998. I hope this one still works because it's been sitting around for 25 years. Okay, I don't think this is a real Tamagotchi, but it is a cool keychain. Might sell this on eBay. I found a few eBay listings where this goes for over $100, but I got this for $15. This is the Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Factory. So this allows you to make Chuck E. Cheese pizza at home. Came out in 1999 and was discontinued for unknown reasons. So Paris and I have our uncooked pizzas right here and we're gonna place them into the Chuck E. Cheese Pizza Maker and Ooh. we're gonna watch some magic happen. Look, and you can actually see it through this little, oh my God, it's so cute! Ah! There we go. Okay. Okay, she is ready. <gasps> Stop, oh. you're joking. It's hot. What? 
I love this thing. And it actually comes with its own little like pizza knife. Italiano, buon appetito. Buon appetito. How many pieces are we cutting? <laughs> it's a real it's pizza. It's already tiny, Pearson. Look it. Oh Stop. my god, and that's then... so cute. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, that is so good. This is so good. I'm telling you, mm. they need to bring this back. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start a petition. Mm -hmm. Me you too. Sign it. I'll be the first one. This is the infamous Cabbage Patch doll. So this was discontinued in 1997 because apparently it was eating people's fingers and hair. Okay, we're about to see if the reason for ban is accurate or not. I'm about to stick my finger in her mouth and see if she tries to chop it off. <gasps> oh my god! Ow! Okay, that Cabbage Patch Kid needs to stay banned. Are you hungry? Yeah! Choo choo! Choo choo! Oh my god! I think she's choking! I think she's choking! Oh, she spit it out. So right here we have a sealed package of Sour Altoids and these expired in 2005. You were four years old when that expired. Yes, I was. Oh my God. And believe it or not, I bought these for a whopping $75. For Altoids? <laughs> and I actually got a good deal. I looked on eBay and people are selling them for $10,000. We should just sell these. What are we doing? Wait, you're right. Wait, we don't need to eat them. We'll sell them for 80 bucks. Make a profit. Well, I already opened them, so we're gonna try them anyways. All right. <gasps> oh. There's it! Oh my god, I was not expecting that. No, I was so excited. Dude, people are spending $10,000 on these things. And they're probably coming like this. This is what it's supposed to look like. The form is like, it looks like candy. And this is what they look like 18 years later. Oh my gosh. Even just trying to eat this is a struggle. Here we go. Oh my god. It's sour. Mm -hmm. This might be our last day. It was nice knowing you. It was nice knowing you too. This is a Nintendo 64. It was discontinued in 2002. A lot of them don't work anymore, but we were able to get our hands on one that does. We're gonna play Madden 2000. I don't like this game because uh, when I played this when I was little, my brothers would always beat me at it. Oh, now your sister's gonna beat you at it. Yeah, you're funny. Look at the graphics. It's so bad. What's happening? Ah! I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just pressing random buttons. Okay, safe to say Nintendo 64 still works. I'm gonna leave Brent here so he can get a little better I can't game. play by myself, like see? Well, you need some practice. <laughs> so these are magnetics, and they may look like a safe and creative thing to play with your friends, but they were recalled in 2006 for safety reasons and a choking hazard. So let's hope we don't choke on these. I'm gonna attempt to build this thing that's on the box. Done. So I don't know about a choking hazard, but I'm getting a little choked up at how good of a job I did. Look at that resemblance. This is a Furby and they were discontinued in 2002 because apparently they would catch on fire. This is really creepy. Now this toy is probably one of the creepiest ones, if I can get it open. This comes with a little dictionary, so we're gonna say some of these phrases and see if it works. Aye aye. Alo. Bobe. Do. So the phrases are not working, but it says that if you rub its back, it will turn on. This is really weird. I think it's safe to say that this thing just, oh my God. I guess it's banned for a reason. This definitely does catch on fire. And there goes its ear. I'm sure you guys have heard of Red Bull, but have you heard of Red Bull Cola? This was exclusive to Germany, but banned in 2009 because apparently it contains illegal substances. Wait, so should I be trying this? Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, the expiration date on this is October 9th of 2009. So this is 14 years old and we're about to take a sip. Whoa. It smells like Coke that's been like poured into a basement and then like sat there for like 20 plus years. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is the grossest thing I've ever had in my life. Oh my god, it's like spicy. I'm not kidding. My tongue is like tingling. Well, it's 14 years old. Oh my god. Hey, this is awful. Yeah, this should be banned for sure. These are soccer boppers. You probably think that they were banned for an obvious reason, but it was actually because the company got sued. Oh, I've been wanting to do this for a really long time, Jeremy. What? Hey! Hey, give me one of these. Give me one of these. Okay, I can see why this freaking product was discontinued. We're not using these anymore. Underball. These were discontinued in 2004 because of choking hazards. The chocolate ball that has candy inside the chocolate and it comes with a toy. With the best of both worlds. You get an experience and you get the taste. Oh, and it's Super Mario Bro. Keep going, you're almost there. Ah! Collect 18 coins, one coin inside. Oh, how cute. Careful, Lexi, it's a choking hazard. Oh, yeah, oh, maybe that's the choking hazard, actually. Oh my God, it's falling apart. It's broken! Oh. So since this was discontinued in 2004, we're not gonna be trying the chocolate because that's just not safe, but I'm gonna try candy for ya. Oh my god, it's disgusting. 
It's not good? No. What does it taste like? Oh my god. It's that bad? Yeah. Ugh. See, I wonder what it tasted like in its prime. Ooh. Not when it's like this old. Yeah. Hey, but you know what? Keep, Keep going. going. You're, You're almost, almost there. there. These are Elmo's Tickle Hands, and basically they came out in 2009, but were discontinued in 2010. Put these on, and you just tickle whoever you're next to. Wait, why are they discontinued? Well, probably because nobody likes to get tickled. Like, I hated being tickled. Well, looks like we're putting on the tickle hands oh, then. No. All right, the ticklers are on. I'll give you five seconds to run. Go. Five. Stop. Four. Stop. Three. <laughs> two. One. <laughs> Oh, you're freaking slow, bro. I caught up to you so fast. Hey, what are you doing if you look on your bed and it's me with these Elmo hands? Like at 2 a.m. Jeremy, why do you have to make everything weird? Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, you guys, so for this week's video, I will be sneaking into Brent's brand new house and scaring him throughout the entire night. If you guys are excited, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up right now and let's get this video started. Woo! So I'm gonna head over to Brent's a little bit later and we're gonna do a siblings challenge and then we're gonna go from there. All right, so I am now here with Brent. Hey. And we are going to be doing the siblings challenge. All right, your first thing that comes to mind when you think of a dog. One, two, three. Go oh, retriever. Ah! Yeah. Pick a number one through ten. One, two, three. Four. Uh, what? What the heck? Four? Why would you say seven? First thing that comes to mind when you think of a dessert. One, two, three. Soufflé. Soufflé. <laughs> Food. One, two, three. Sushi. <laughs> Woo! Social media app. One, two, three. Instagram. Instagram. Ah. Car brand. One, two, three. Mercedes. So that's it. Oh. That was it? You okay, so we got both of those correct, which means that we're Good we definitely know each other. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, that was it. All right, well, see ya. You guys, it's Brent's first night in his new house, yes. and I have a feeling that he it's exciting. is going to miss me. I guess we'll see. Are you leaving? Yeah. All right, bye. All right, bye, Brent. Okay, so Brent thinks that I'm leaving right now, but little does he know I unlocked his side door so I could sneak back in and scare him and just mess with him all night. So let's do it. Okay, we made it upstairs to Brent's room. Brent is still downstairs. I'm gonna start this off pretty subtle. I'm gonna just rearrange some of the little things in his room to get him confused and spooked, so let's do it. Okay, before Brent comes upstairs, I'm going to get into a hiding spot, set up another camera, see if he notices the rearrangement. This is my hiding spot. Whoa. And from what it sounded like, he seemed pretty confused. So let's keep this going. I also brought this speaker. I'm gonna connect it to my phone and play some really creepy music. And I have a feeling he's gonna freak out at this, but let's do it. Hello? Hello? He's literally leaving. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kind of homeowner he is. He's a problem and he just leaves his house. Oh my gosh. Is he gonna come back? Hey, Andrew's here. What's going on? Okay, so Andrew, we have very limited time, okay? Okay. Um, I scared Brent so bad that he left his house <laughs> and he's been gone for like 20 minutes. Yeah, so I invited you over to help me set up like some booby traps and to just help me mess with him. Okay, so the first booby trap that we're gonna set is this like fishing wire thing. So Brent's gonna like walk in and it's gonna kind of like stop him. <laughs> so let's tape this to the wall. You guys, you literally cannot even see this. Like, right I would walk into this. So this is one of Brent's hats, and it was just laying down here. So okay, now we're gonna take a piece of string to the cup. Okay, let's put the string into the hat. Okay. All right, Lexi. So how does this work exactly? Like, so if Brent were to pick up his hat, 
This cup would come with it. Spilling all of this rice on the floor, on the countertop, everywhere. Hopefully he falls for this one. But just in case he doesn't, we're gonna set a few more booby traps up. Okay, this next booby trap was Andrew's idea. I'm gonna get Brent's toothpaste, <laughs> clear all that toothpaste out of here, and put mayo in it. This is gonna be so disgusting. Yeah. I mean, if Brent brushes his teeth, oh, I mean, yeah. fingers crossed, let's hope he brushes his teeth. This is gonna be so gross. Ew, Andrew. Ew. I'm gonna be sick. Ew. It's like overflowing. Ew. Okay, that should be good. So let's hope he brushes his teeth. All right, for this one, we're going to tape balloons to the door and then like safety pins to this wall. So if he opens the door wide enough, the balloons will pop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, so Brent's car pulled up, which means he should be walking in any second. But we have to make sure that he comes up to his room. So we're gonna make like a loud like bang noise. Yeah so that he comes up because most of the booby traps are set in his room. Okay, so Brent just kicked us out of the house, but this was all part of the plan because when Brent was gone, we also snuck Jeremy into the house, so Jeremy's still inside. And we're gonna have him continue messing with Brent. So let's go to the car and call Jeremy. Let's do it. <laughs> Hello? Yes, I can. Okay, so are you ready for your first task? Let's do it. Okay, so first things first, I want you to put on the scary mask that I left in the bedroom to the left. Oh, I died, I died. Okay. Oh my god, it's chunky. Okay, the mask is on. Okay, Jeremy. Three, two, one. Okay, I don't want to play for Jeremy right now. <laughs> Good luck, Jeremy. Andrew! <laughs> what is that? Oh my god! What? Did you hear that? <laughs> He's coming out! <laughs> He's running out of path! Who is that inside there? Who? Yeah, who? What are you talking about? That <laughs> <laughs> it was Jeremy! When did you get here? So, Brent, when you left the house the first time you got scared, we snuck Jeremy into the house as well. So, when you kicked me and Andrew out, Jeremy was still inside. Happy first night in your new house, Brent. Thank Woo! you. I'm not going to be staying here anymore. Why? Why? Are you scarred? Uh -huh. No, there's there's no one else inside. So, Ben's on. Um, nah, Ben, the jig is up. For this week's video, my friends and I will be facing 100 of our childhood fears in 24 hours. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up right now. Also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's get this video started. Woo! When I was a kid, I had a fear of the garage door crushing me. So today, Ben is gonna face that fear in three, two, one, go! Go, go, go! Come on! Go, go. come on, you got it! Oh, oh, oh! oh. I did it! Oh, oh my god. I have to say, I kind of wish the garage door crushed you. I wish you did that one, come oh, on. Okay, okay. I am about to face my childhood fear of a demon chasing me up the stairs after I turn the lights off. Wish me luck. Why is she always running away from me? Pearson, this is the fear of the dark. What? What? Lexi! Oh no! <laughs> Pearson doesn't 
know this, but she's also gonna be facing the childhood fear of clowns. So I hid a clown in the closet and he's going to pop out and scare her when she's least expecting it. Okay, so Lexi said that this was a childhood fear, but honestly, I'm still afraid of the dark. And so now this is an adult fear and it's miserable. Lexi, you can turn on the lights now. <laughs> but you also face the childhood fear of clowns. How did they not know that was coming? Ah! 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 And the fear of pride! I'm pretty, that's why. The fear of public humiliation. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> Ben peed his pants! Oh, <laughs> I'm a loser! <laughs> You're so dumb! No, 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 no! When I was younger, I had a fear of swallowing gum because apparently it stays in your intestines for seven years. We'll check back on this in seven years, but let's move on. Being home alone and hearing a knock at the door was one of my biggest childhood fears. Somebody just rang the doorbell. <gasps> Who is that? I need to call my mom. Mom, there's a sketchy lady at the door and I'm home alone. I'm your mom. Not buying it. Are you kidding me? Right this is a trap. She's on the phone. I think she's calling back up. I gotta go. Oh my god, she has a key. Ah, she's inside the house! Ah! I used to have a fear that there was always a boogeyman in my closet. Ah! This is worse than the boogeyman. Another childhood fear, timed multiplication tests. And your time starts now. And done! Done. Lexi, the class ended 45 minutes ago. Everybody's gone. You still want to grade it? Another fear, popcorn reading. Okay, Ben, it's your turn to pick somebody. So popcorn, somebody else in the class to read, please. I'm gonna pick... Hmm. 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 Okay, Lexi. What page were we on? Lexi, you need to have your eyes in the book so you know where we are. You can't lose your place. Yeah. Eyes on the book, dummy. You can't even read. Better than you. Brent is about to face the childhood fear of Santa. And we're going to watch on a live stream to see how he does. Yeah. He probably looks so, so weird right by here? himself. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. It's Brent. Brent, okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice what's your, what's you. your name? Uh, my name is... Uh... Santa. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's right. <laughs> Obviously, his name is Santa. Okay, Brent is about to confront Santa. I have a question for you, Santa. Oh, no. No, 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 it's not Santa. <laughs> Why did you always break into my house and steal my food? I Every thought... December 25th. You 24. came in. 24. Broke in. I, I, have, I have footage, and you stole all my food. Well, you're not supposed to be trying to capture it by, by camera. Okay, Brent just dove right into that. Santa is at a loss of words right now. I feel so bad. Okay, this is good. This is going well. I just hope Brent doesn't get kicked out for confronting him. If you have camera footage of it, you did a no-no. Oh, okay. Well, you know. <laughs> Anna is clapping back at Brent. Okay, they're about to take a picture right now, and they're literally giving Brent props. Yeah, when yeah. I was a kid, I used to be yeah, I used to be scared of meeting Santa. So I'm like conquering my fear. 15 years later. Brent is such a liar. 24, and he's still afraid of Santa Claus. Thank you, Santa. I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> have a good day. Thank you. All right, it looks like they're finishing up, so let's go see if Brent overcame this fear. All right, Brent. How'd it go? Well, all I have to say is next time he breaks into our house, I'll be ready. Okay. Childhood fear of asking your parents to have a sleepover. So Pearson and I are gonna face this, so go ahead and ask my mom, Pearson. Ask my mom to your have mom? a sleepover. My mom, yeah. You want me to ask your mom to have a sleepover? She'll say yes to you. But that doesn't even make sense. She's literally your mother. You're not gonna ask would, her. No, I'm not gonna you ask her. You just wanna have a sleepover. Daughter. Yeah. You know, I don't oh, wanna, I wanna be able to have... We're gonna face the childhood fear of escalators. Oh, me first. Oh, no, all right, here we go. Come on, Lexi, you got this. Come on, Lexi. Oh, you okay, this wasn't so bad, you know. Feels good to overcome your fear, you know. I got this. It's it's going like a little a little faster than I thought. Pearson looks a little bit nervous for this one. Okay, I'm on. I'm on now. What? Yeah, that's your other foot. Oh, ow, Lexi, help! Oh. I don't think I can do this. Okay. Oh, oh my did. god, I did it. That wasn't so bad, right? I used to have a fear of hanging my feet off the bed, thinking that a monster would come and <gasps> Hey, airdrop those to me. My man. Okay, so I'm here with Salish. Salish is 13, 
So, I want to know, what is your biggest fear? I really hate the dentist. Oh, I hate the dentist too. Yeah. So, uh, you ready to go face that fear? I'm not going. You're not going to do it? No. What? You got this, Lexi. Like, no, I'm not going yeah. to the dentist. Wait, I don't want to do this. I'm not you going. are going. You I'm are not going. going. Get in here. I can't Stop do it. this. Stop it. Like, Stop go. it. Right go. now. Let's I'm go. not. Fine, fine, oh, fine. Right. I'll go. Go. Jeez, Lexi. Hey. For Lexi? Come on down. We're ready for you. Oh, no, I'm good here. Come on. It's going to be okay. How low does this thing go? You can go lower. All right, are you ready? No. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even do anything. I don't want to be here. Looks like you need a crown. I know, right? Not that kind of crown. All right, you're all done. You're a mean man. She called me. Another fear that I had was spelling bee time. And? Your word is subscribe. Um, S U D Z four seven D. Make sure to subscribe. I had a childhood fear that I was always being watched, but I'm not really too afraid of that anymore. I'm not really too afraid of that anymore. Little does she know, I have 47 cameras and sawed around her whole house. Ha! I had a fear of sitting too close to the TV because my mom told me it would ruin my vision. I knew she was lying about this one. Another childhood fear is the fear of dolls. And if Ben's not scared of dolls yet, he's about to be. All right, Ben, are you ready for your surprise? Sure. Oh, ow! What was that? Ben, are you scared of dolls? No. Then why are you screaming? No! Ben, you're being such a wimp. No, I'm not. Ow! 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 That was literally a real ball. That's not a doll. Ben, they're baseball with dolls no. attached to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yo, they're coming fast. Oh, no, that's too much. That's too much. So, Ben, are you afraid of dolls? Yes, I am. Gosh. The boys are about to face their childhood fear of the bounce house deflating while they're still inside of it, but they don't know it yet. Oh, yeah. oh. hey, what's going on? Wait, what's happening? Hey, hey, why is it deflating? Why did it turn off? Oh, my God. No, no, no. We gotta get out of here. Oh no, hey, I'm getting out of here, Brett. No, I'm getting out. No, Jamie, no, no. <laughs> Save yourself, <laughs> Jamie. Brent. What? You're not dead. Yes, I am. This thing collapsed on top of me. Look at it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god, Jeremy, get off of me. One of Brent's childhood fears was ordering food, so we're gonna face that fear today. Don't do this to me, Lexi. What would you tell like to drink? Uh, I'll have a. Wa I'll have a whoa. He'll, he'll have a water. Okay? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. When Brent was younger, he was always too scared to tell the waitress when his order was wrong. Didn't you ask for no veggies? Yeah, but it, it's fine. I can eat it like this. You're allergic to carrots. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. I'll just eat it. Um, excuse me. He has something to tell you. Lexi, stop. Yes? Uh, um, uh. Uh, uh, um, can I, uh, no, nothing, nothing, uh. Don't, you're gonna, Brent. Guess he never got over that fear. I used to have a fear of closing my eyes in the shower, but now I do it with ease. <gasps> Why are you screaming? You never open your eyes this early. I come in here all the time. If anybody's childhood fear is Jeremy, I know why. Just close your eyes again. No, Jeremy, get They're out. Close. Get out. The childhood fear of eating watermelon seeds, thinking that a watermelon will grow inside of you. We'll check back on this. We'll check back on this later. When Brent was a kid, he had a fear of getting his hair cut. I didn't have a fear of getting my hair cut. I know, I just wanted to see you sit in this chair. <laughs> Go get it. Lexi, okay, tell us it's a prank, please. Lexi, Dude. I'm not, I don't wanna stop. I'm literally gonna cry. You think she's in here? Lexi. Bro, where is she? I actually think I might back out right now. What? channel okay you guys so today night and part of tomorrow we are going to be doing a 24-hour overnight challenge in an abandoned house dun, dun, dun. I'm not excited. so this house is most likely haunted most likely no it's it, for it is haunted. definitely so there's been a lot of stories about this house that are pretty uh you know they that don't sit well with me don't no. sit well with my tummy no. but we will get to that a little bit later on without further ado let's get this video started i'm really scared i don't want to do this <laughs> 
Woo! We're gonna give you guys a little tour as well as a little background information about this house. So let's do it. This house is actually kind of scary because I got this house like six months ago and before I got it, the owner didn't even live in this for like six months. So this house has not been lived in for over a year. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm gonna go home. I don't know about you no, guys. No, if I have to do it, then you guys have to do it as well. But another fun fact is that the neighbors have like heard sounds from this house. This house was built 30 years ago and I guess the first owner that lived in this house died there. So uh, this just makes this video 10 times scarier. <laughs> so I guess we'll find out tonight. What if there was someone in here right now? Oh, oh, so, oh. No, I'm actually scared. Oh. Wait, did no. you hear that? Uh -uh. Wait, no, 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 this, actually, wait, wait, hold on. Someone making farting noises? Wait, did someone just freaking, did someone no, just no, no, straight up, go, go, go first. Wait. Oh, what's up? Oh my god! <laughs> that what scared the? me! Andrew! <laughs> Are you on the <laughs> toilet? <laughs> scary, scary ghost coming out of this one. Ew! Uh, how did you even get in here? Why is Andrew in there? Did anyone invite him? Or is he? He must have known we were coming. Hopefully, he's the one that the neighbors have been hearing because otherwise we're in for a treat. All right, um, we're gonna get to the tour, okay? Okay, so this is like right as you walk in. I do not like it over there. Oh my gosh, someone left a big turd in there. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Andrew left a big poop in there. What is that? Oh my god, there's a spider on it. Oh, there's a spider. What the heck? Three toilets? Why are there toilets in here? Oh, thank god I had to go to the bathroom. Stop. <laughs> Yeah, guys, there's like no lights in here and there's also no heater. We're gonna we're gonna freeze. I didn't think about that. Okay, now we're gonna check out the backyard. What the heck? Are you kidding me? Ew, bro. It's so murky. This water is disgusting. It's like literally green. So we are in the garage. There's a bunch of like old phones. Hello? Someone Stop! Someone <laughs> Don't play, Ben. Um, so what do you think we should do? Uh, I'm kind of hungry, so should we order food? I'm down. We could. Ordering food to an abandoned house? I mean, it I has an know. address, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm down. All right, let's I'm do hungry. it. Let's order food. Okay. Okay, so we just ordered pizza, and it's on its way. So yes. while we wait, I thought, why not dip our feet in the jacuzzi? I'm this down. place has a, has a hot tub? Yeah, it has a hot tub. Oh, let's go. Come on. All it's right. not so bad after all. Let's do it. You guys look like you're having so much fun. Come on in, Bryce. The, the, the water is just the water fine. Is fine. <laughs> so we are still waiting for our pizza. I don't yeah, know. Where's our food? I don't know what's taking so long, but it is getting dark really fast, and uh, it's kind of starting to freak me out a little bit. Yeah, I forgot we're in a haunted house. <laughs> Ow! Gotcha. Okay, our pizza's here. Finally. Yay! Oh, Thank you so much. Thank I you. Did, I did too. Woo! Oh, our food's here. <laughs> Pizza night. Cheers to um, abandoned houses and hopefully not dying tonight. Okay, so we finished eating. Um, I'm stuck. And I think to kind of get our minds off of like the fact that we're pretty much in a haunted house right now, yeah. we should play some hide and seek. Oh, great idea. That's a horrible idea. This is how scary movie start. So we're gonna do rock, paper, scissors to see who's gonna be the seeker. One, One two, two, three, shoot. shoot. Oh. Oh. I did not think it was going to be Ben. <laughs> okay, Ben, so go over in that corner and right. count to 30, Ben. I think that's where the person actually died, though, over there. Stop. <laughs> okay. One, two, nine, 28, 29, 30. Ha! Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello. I'm scared that there's going to be someone that's not Brent or Lexi in here. Hello? I'm so scared, yo. What? That room is so dark. Hello? Oh my, no, no. Yo, that's way too dark. Is anyone in here? Hello? Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> ah! Found me! <laughs> that was the scariest thing in my life. All right, we gotta find Lexi now. That was horrible. I think she's in here. Lexi. Bro, where is she? All right, Lexi. Oh my god! <laughs> I saw her. Bruh! Yeah? I got scared to death. You don't even know Dude, what happened. I was scared just hiding in there. Yeah, it's scary. <laughs> All right, what should we do next? Just pass the time. <laughs> we, we should play uh, the Ouija board. That's a horrible idea. We're all gonna have nightmares. Let's go. Let's All right, play. well, we don't have one, so we have to make our own. Okay, <laughs> so it's gotten a lot darker, I feel like. Um, who wants to ask the first question? Not me. No. Okay, everyone put their finger on the coin. Okay, Ouija board. Are we in California? Yo. No, Lexi, is that, is that you? Like, actually work. Yeah. Oh, 
work. Okay, I said yes, which is true. What? Okay, um, is this house haunted? Stop. Oh. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, but why is it even moving? No. Wait, what? It went back to yes. Wait, what? Look, you can't take your finger off it, Brent. I just did. You're going to be cursed. Huh? Ooh, are we getting ice cream tonight? It's not moving. Okay, good. We're getting ice cream. Guys, this is yes. <laughs> Who is most at danger staying at this house overnight? Oh, God. I don't want to know the answer to this one. I better not spell my name. <gasps> why do you go to B? Well, that's part of your name, No, Brent. no, no, no. B? No, no, no. Please, B, R. <laughs> B? It's an E. It's an E. It's Ben. Uh, uh, it's bad. Oh. It's bad. You can't take your hand. I'm out. This is gonna be cursed. That's why. Oh, Okay, who did that? Like, how did it all do that yeah, at the same time? Yeah, I'm doing it. Am I doing it? Because you would want Ben to be the first one. <laughs> well, duh, I'm doing it. Obviously, I'm moving it. What? You're no fun. Oh my. Well, it doesn't move by itself. <laughs> okay, so. What is that noise? I don't even know. Okay, so there's this like noise coming from the side of the house. And... Hey. What are you doing? What? I mean, it's getting late, so I thought I'd start inflating my, my you, mattress. You brought an air mattress. I told you I brought an air mattress. Bro, I literally thought we were getting killed. Yeah. Wait, seriously though, wait, no, where, where are me and Ben supposed to sleep? Okay, actually, Ben can sleep on the air mattress with me, but you have to find somewhere else to sleep. What? How is, it, how is that fair? All right, so it is a lot later now. We're probably gonna go to bed soon, but I had this amazing idea to call my mom and tell her that we've been like hearing sounds, we think someone's in the house, something scary is that she has to come here. So and when mean. No, it's this gonna be funny. And then when she walks in the door, we're gonna scare her. That's horrible. I know, this is very bad. Let's see what happens. Let's give my mom the phone call. <laughs> Hello? Hi, we think there's someone in the house. Someone in the house. In Fred's house. Is it where you're staying? Yeah, like we we think we hear something. Okay, you know what, let's see, I'm exhausted. I'm sleeping right now, honey. You should have spent the night there then. I'm sure it's fine. You're probably just hearing noises. There's nobody in the house. So you're not gonna come check on us? No, I'm gonna take somebody to check on you. I'm sound asleep. My gosh, what time is it? Good night, mom. <laughs> Oh, I love you. Love you, bye. Bye. She doesn't even care. Wow. She's no fun. All right, well, I guess there's nothing else to do besides go to sleep. This is the, this is the worst part about the whole video. I know, I was dreading this part. I don't want to, like, I actually think I might back out right now. What? Go to bed. Okay guys, so I waited for Brent and Ben to fall asleep so I could pull a prank on them. Um, it is currently 2.51 in the morning. So I brought over this mask earlier and basically Brent is going to put it on and play maybe a little bit of scary music and we're gonna prank Brent and Ben. Do you guys hear that? Brent, Ben, do you guys hear that? What? It sounds like someone's talking. No. <gasps> Stop. No, wait, I'm not going Alexia, first. I'm not going up what first. Is that? What? Do you see the freaking thing on the stairs? On the stairs. What the? <gasps> Stop. 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 What is that? It's 3.07 in the morning. I say we try to go back to sleep, and then next thing you know, maybe it'll be morning, right? Yeah, nightmares. Okay, guys, I swear I just heard something for real. Ben, Brent, I swear I heard something drop. Uh, don't. <laughs> You're kidding me. Don't. Alexa, are you pranking us? No, I swear. I'm not getting up this time. What the? Bryce, no, no I, I'm not kidding you guys, because Bryce left after I pulled that last prank. Go get it. Lexi, okay, tell us it's a prank, please. Lexi, Dude, I'm not, I don't want to stop. I'm literally gonna cry. That, Who put that? Did he didn't leave that on the door though? That's the thing. He didn't. He wouldn't do that. Huh? Bryce wouldn't leave that on the door before he. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> I literally saw someone. Stop. I swear. No, don't e don't even I'm like. Here. I swear. I'm I gonna someone. cry. I'm literally gonna cry. Okay, guys. So we're back at like our house, and I'm like so shaken up. Like, I swear. Like, I was on the verge of tears. Like, I was that scared. I I'm pretty sure I cried. The fact that Brent has to live here one day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True.